Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on the channel. Um, let's just get straight into this video, obviously back with the tips today. I didn't do a tipping video last round so we'll quickly go over my round 13 tips as well. Round 13 of up 4 out of 9. Could have very easily been even worse because I, 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 in my tipping video I actually tipped North Melbourne but I, I forgot to change that tip which I originally had placed for GWS. Um, so that was lucky there, I got one right there. And I also changed my tip from Carlton uh, to Essendon after the tipping video. So um, I got I got a bit uh, lucky there as well. Um, so it was four out of nine that round, could have been two out of nine. And then last round I got five out of six, the only one wrong I got was GWS uh, beating Freeman, or I didn't tip that one. Um, yeah, I'm very. I did not expect that result at all. GWS beating Frio by 70 points. Frio are a weird team. They beat Melbourne away. They they beat Geelong. They beat like they've beaten all the top teams, but they can't beat any of the bottom teams outside. Like they got smashed by GWS. They lost to Richmond. They, they lost to North early in the year. I don't know what the hell is going on with Fremantle. They can beat all the top teams, but they can't beat any of the bottom teams. But um, anyway, let's just get on with my round 15 tips. Rightio, kicking off the final buy round, we've got Geelong taking on Melbourne at Cadenia Park. Melbourne coming off the buy. Geelong coming off a uh, loss against Port Adelaide, who stormed home in that second half against them. Um... Obviously, we know that a lot of teams don't fare too well after the bye. Geelong, they're sitting outside the top eight right now in 10th spot. But I'm going to go for an upset win here. It's, a, it's in Geelong, um, and because Melbourne have the bye, uh, a lot of teams don't fare too well after the bye. Yeah, I'm going to be tipping Geelong in an upset here. I'm going to go, I'm going to go them to win by 16 points. Um, they definitely need to win this game if they really want to have a solid crack at making finals again this year because their season's slowly slipping away from them and if they don't string together a few wins in a row soon Geelong then they might find themselves missing finals for the first time in quite a while since 2015 that was the last time they missed finals and before that they had a massive long streak um, of making finals again so they, they don't miss finals too often but um, if they don't win this game then potentially we could be seeing them miss this year. Friday night now, St Kilda taking on Brisbane. Um, two teams that are in a bit of a form slump. Uh, Brisbane got the win last round against us, the Swans, um, which I think everyone expected them to do. They didn't do it as convincingly as I expected them to or anyone expected them to really with the injuries that we still had out and the form we were in. I would have, I, I tipped them by like 44 points in my community post so yeah we, we, we definitely put up a good fight um st kilda they lost to richmond this one is in melbourne not at the mcg luckily though for richmond not richmond brisbane um and yeah this could be a really interesting contest i'm gonna tip it to be I'm going to tip it to be a very a very close encounter. I'm going to have Brisbane get the job done by five points. Um, still a little bit concerned about their form outside the Gabba. But St Kilda, they're just, they're not quite showing, um, they're just, they just look a bit shaky at the moment. They're not quite as good as they were at the start of the season. And for that reason, I'm going to be tipping them to lose this one and Brisbane to collect another win to really stay within reach of that top four. Sydney taking on West Coast now, um, I mean, I think any game involving West Coast is a foregone conclusion pretty much at this point. I'll tip us. Um, we have a very good record over West Coast at the SCG too as well. Um, we might be having a couple of players back um, as well. Uh, I've heard Tom McCartan is potentially going to come back. We had a rampy come back a couple weeks ago. There's uh, Logan McDonald is a, another potential in as well. Um, Franklin, who missed the last game, could be back. Um, 
So none of those games are none of those names are guaranteed, but they all are potential ins. And if they all are in, then yeah, I'm 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 even more confident that we'll get a, a big win here. And I'll I'll tip us to win this one by I'll go 61 points. I don't think we'll smash them by as much as the Crows did um, last time West Coast played. I think they they have they had the buy West Coast. Maybe that's a good thing for them. Uh, it'll be a little mini reset for them, but and they do have a few players coming back in, like Tom Barras, probably their most important player, or at least one of their most important players. But yeah, I still I still think we we should win this one comfortably. Fremantle taking on Essendon. Interesting contest this one. We I think we're we'll, we're likely to see a response from Fremantle after that poor loss they had last round. Uh, it's at Optus Stadium against Essendon. Essendon in some very good form, but coming off the bye, as we know, teams are a bit shaky after the bye. And I'm going to go... I'm not actually sure if this is an upset or not, but I'm going to go Fremantle to win this one by 19 points. Um, yeah, at home. Surely they respond after last week, because that was an absolutely shocking performance. Um, they, they would have have to have gotten a, a big spray from their coach, the players. And I think they'll... And they do fare quite well against the top eight teams for some reason, even though they can't beat any of the shithouse teams. Uh, so yeah, Fremantle by 19 points. Collingwood taking on Adelaide now. Um, I think both teams coming off the bye, so I don't know if that's really much of a factor. Uh, Collingwood, obviously last time these two teams played, they won by one point. Um, Adelaide really should have won that game. Uh, Adelaide, pretty, for, pretty poor form outside of the Adelaide Oval. And for that reason, I'm going to be tipping the pies here by, I'll go, I'll go 20 points. Final game of the round now, Gold Coast taking on Hawthorne. Uh, Gold Coast uh, obviously had a pretty shocking loss last round to the Blues, lost by roughly about 10 goals. Uh, Hawthorne, they they got back on the winners list. Uh, well, they had the bye last round, but before that, they had a very solid win over um, Brisbane at the MCG. So they're still looking like bet they're looking a lot better than they were at the start of the season. Um, and, you know, despite all I've said about buys, I'm actually going to tip Hawthorne to win this one. I reckon, I reckon they'll, they'll continue their upward trajectory. Uh, that did not sound right the way I said that. Um, but yeah, I think they'll continue improving the Hawks and they'll get a win over the Suns here in... Probably the biggest upset of the round that I've tipped. Um, so yeah. And with that, that is round 15 done. Looking at the ladder, Collingwood reclaimed top spot based on percentage with Port Adelaide having the bye. Got a Brisbane overtaking Melbourne. And Kilda just fall a little bit further away from the top four. Geelong back in the top eight, Adelaide out. Essendon and the Bulldogs still inside. Fremantle climb up a little bit um, to stay within touching distance. Um, it's a very close and tight ladder around this um, 9th to 14th position. All, all of those teams you'd think can possibly still make the 8 um, if they, um, yeah, if they, if everything happens that I have tipped to happen. And then the bottom four, Carlton back in there, Hawthorne, North Melbourne, Hawthorne um, skip away a little bit further ahead of North Melbourne, and then West Coast still at the bottom on the one win. So yeah, hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Comment down your predictions below, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.